we got Jumpstart going this morning on our Wednesday. We absolutely do, and we've got some news that you can use this morning. Oh. Okay. So scientists may have cracked the code on how to make the perfect cup of coffee, and it all has to do with adding a little bit of water to the beans before grinding them. So scientists at the University of Oregon found that that technique helps prevent microscopic clumps of coffee, which increases what experts call the extraction yield. That leads to a more consistent, flavorful brew, but I don't actually grind my own beans, so I'm like, well. Yeah, for anybody who's grinding the beans and you, doing the process, kudos to you. Know you know who would know this? Who? Ed Curran. Hmm. Oh, he grinds his own beans? Well, he just has everything coffee related. Nice. If you got a yeah. question, go to him. And he's the yeah. gadget man. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to send this to him then. All right, well, it was a wild scene in Boston Sunday night when a couple of lambs from a church's live nativity scene went on the lamb themselves. Two, um, lambs, a black one and a white one, they're free. <laughs> okay, they're free! So that was the call to Boston police after <laughs> these two lambs got loose. <coughs> Chaos ensued as about five police cruisers showed up, police and parishioners getting in on that chase. The priest says that thankfully the lambs and the people are all okay. We're happy, they're happy. They feel in a strange place, everything is new. But maybe they want to see the city. <laughs> he said maybe next year they can go on and see the city. <laughs> All right. And in New Jersey, it was a much more welcome Christmas Day surprise when 10 adult grandchildren decided to surprise their grandparents with a visit showing up one by one. So each of the cousins ages 18 to 40 showed up with pizzas and presents in tow, including a pair of matching holiday pajamas for their grandparents. That was a full circle moment from the annual PJs that the grandparents used to get for them. Grandmother Pat Sindoni says the surprise took her breath away. It's heart touching. It really grabs your heart that they would do that, that they would care enough and do all that. It was unbelievable. I, I don't need another Christmas present the rest of my life. Aww. <laughs> it's like that's a pretty good present if it's the you know if it carries you through the rest yeah, of your life. It's heartfelt. It, it is, is really hard. And it's also fun. I mean, with ten of them, adults, <laughs> just to get you know how hard it is to get the whole family in one place at one time. Yeah. That's a feat. So for them to surprise them like that, I mean, that's pretty cool. Yes. And she actually she said she's like it was so much better because the parents didn't show up. Like her kids didn't show up. It was just the grandkids. Aww. Which she was like, I've never gotten to just like hang with the grandkids. And she's like, I felt like a kid again. It was and really one sweet. One by one. Huh? One by one. That's pretty cool. Knocking knock, on the knock, door. knock, knock, knock. <laughs> yes, yeah, another oh, surprise. <laughs> it adds, it compounds. Yeah, thanks, Jack. Of course, you guys. Yeah.